Hydroxychloroquine, state leaders discussing the controversial drug today. For more on this conversation, we sent it over to Jay Burr. He was in on this conversation. Uh, things got a little heated today, and this is uh, something when you discuss it, there are two sides, and there is one line between them. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Bob. There's really not a whole lot of gray area when discussing hydroxychloroquine. In fact, the subcommittee for Arkansas Health Insurance Oversight met today, and there were actually several items that were at least to be presented on the agenda, but hydroxychloroquine dominated all of the conversation today. Now, the committee chairman, State Senator Jason Raper, who has been open about what he says is the denial of the treatment using the drug for him when he was battling COVID-19, brought in medical experts from around the country who say they've had success using the drug and that any concerns of its use have only been brought about in 2020. Now, Rayford says he just wanted the facts of its use to be put out for the public. Things did get heated when State Representative Deborah Ferguson, who actually has immediate family working in the hospital field, questioned the validity of the studies being referenced by witnesses. She tells me that the science community needs to move on from HCQ and find a more effective treatment and that nobody is trying to deny anyone treatments for COVID-19. The FDA and the CDC and respected scientific organizations are trying to be discredited in this process. Like doctors have some wish to not treat people with the best. Came armed with over 500 pages of information to back what they said. All due respect, those that were trying to punch holes in what they said really had nothing in writing to back it up. Now, Secretary of Health Dr. Jose Romero was also asked about its use, and he has said on many occasions that he has not seen enough scientific evidence that HCQ can be effective against COVID-19, and he does not necessarily endorse its use. But Dr. Romero, Romero also says that the state is not necessarily denying anybody treatment, uh, whatever means that may be. And again, he iterates that any treatment should be a uh, decision made in tandem with patients and their doctors. Live from the state capitol, Jay Burt, KRK4 News. All right, Jay, thank Thanks very much.